Welcome back to Bloons TD6. Now today we're gonna be checking out a challenge and this is using the Air Force only. What we're gonna be trying to do is using two very particular bombs. Some of the biggest ordnance in the game. A huge bomb from Ground Zero, but then we've got the Tsar Bomba. And this is basically like the Moab in real life. The mother of all bombs. Like, look at this thing. So what we're gonna be attempting to do is to beat a balloons map using only one tower, the monkey ace. So I feel like we've got a pretty good chance at doing this today. But one thing you'll notice is it costs $800 and we've only got 650. So what one of the things we're gonna be doing is calling in a cash drop right from the beginning. So let's go ahead and get our little cash drop, drop it right here. And there we go, we've got our first one. So. What I'm thinking we want to do is get two planes out right off the beginning and I'm thinking of turning this guy into a figure eight and this guy into a figure eight as well. Or I guess figure infinite. That should hold us for a decent amount of time and I think one thing we could do is get a little banana farm relatively early so that we can start getting money because you'll see that these plane upgrades, I mean to get ground zero, it's $14,000 just for that after you spend the 200, 350, 900, and then that, and then the Tsar bomb is 35,000. We're gonna need some serious cash. Now we've done all kinds of challenges and I'm uploading a lot of balloons over to Baron Von Tactics, so if you're enjoying this and you want it more than like once every week or every other week, head on over there after the video naturally. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get some exploding pineapples. Let's see, who covers the road the most? This guy, actually. And then we can get spy plane as well. But the first thing we're going to want to do is get exploding pineapples on both these guys. And I'm thinking that we're doing pretty good. Now, it says round 60. We're going to try to get to round 100. Okay? Now, uh... One of the challenges I've done before on with Cage on the Vaughn Tactics channel was we did one called Top Gun, where I used planes and he used helicopters. So this is kind of like that, but this is like one of the coolest ones, I think, because of just the massive amount of firepower that these bombs have. So what we're going to do is want to upgrade to monkey banks here, and then eventually we're going to have to, like, look at that. Okay, one did get through. We're at 148, so I think it's clear that we don't have you know, the firepower that we need just yet. So let's see, what's the next upgrade? Spy plane? So I'll put him right over here. I don't think we can double stack two airfields right there. And I think on a circle, with we'll, we'll upgrade him to rapid fire when we can afford that. So that's gonna be 600 bucks. So before we go heavy into the bomb abilities, I think we're gonna need an Operation Dart Storm to cover. Yeah, look at that. Some of these fast ones do get pretty far. That one almost got out. And there's rapid fire. Lots more darts is another 650, which with our bank, I mean, it's it's round 16 out of 100. I mean, hopefully we get to 100. I think the farthest I've gone so far with a challenge even similar to this was like 99. You're going to be the bomber ace. The first one. And we'll start saving up for the next one. So now he's dropping bombs. Look at that. He's no longer dropping pineapples. He's dropping actual ordnance. The thing's made out of metal and has explosives instead of like, you know, some fermented pineapple juice inside of a spiky little bowl with some leaves on it. All right, how about another little bomber ace? And now to get to, oh yeah. Now we should be able to hold this relatively easily for a couple more waves. We're able to see camo balloons. We're able to destroy armored balloons when we're significantly more effective. Look how little balloons actually get past. So wave 34 to 60, things are going pretty well. Remember that the objective is to get to past one, level 100 or as close as we can. So I'm thinking what we wanna do is get Operation Dart Storm next. At $3,000, that should do some significant cover. And we'll have this really cool looking stealth plane flying around. So here's Operation Dart Storm. Look at that. Now we've got, now we got this like uh, B2 stealth bomber just firing darts everywhere. It's kind of funny that we picked a B2 stealth bomber to be the one that's firing instead of like dropping some significant ordnance. He's more of like a fighter, but hey man, this is the monkey air force. All right, so the first Moab comes out at wave 40. How did we do? <laughs> Fantastic. Look at this, man. See, this is just absolute chaos. And here we go. Our air force has grown. We've got two Operation Dart Storms, and just look at the amount of darts flying all over the place. We've got one bank to collect on, so we've got 7,000. And I think at about 9,000, we just need 5,000 more dollars to get our first 
ground zero. Dude, this is wild. Okay, we've got some armored ones easily taken care of. We've got our first one, and look at this. The Zar Bomba, $35,000. I expect to get a few of these, but I think in order to pass later waves, um, what we're going to want to have is probably a few of these bombs because the more we have we can st we can use the ability multiple times this will really allow us to save up so we're at what almost wave 50 so i guess we should be expecting some of these zeppelin airships it's kind of cool like they're bringing in zeppelins and like helium inflated balloons and we got like we got an air force son all right so now it's saving up for one more ground zero and if you guys want to see it here we go so watch this we're gonna wait for as many plane well I think my Air Force is a little OP. We're dropping the bomb. There it goes in the middle screen. Everything's wiped out. Now we got these next waves coming in. Let's see. How are our banks? Our banks are doing pretty good. Oh, God. Okay. We got really... We got our butt kicked. Hold on. I let too many through, and I didn't use my ability, so we just dropped the 41 hearts. Okay. Doing pretty good. Drop another big bomb. Why not get a bomber ace out there? So this is what it looks like in regular motion. Now that we're at wave 54, we've pretty much got these zeppelin airships coming almost every other wave now now how are our banks doing our banks are not doing that great we uh we emptied them to buy a bomber ace yeah now things are definitely going better now that we added the third b2 stealth bomber aka operation dark storm oh here we go one of the big readies turns to blues We'll drop a bomb, and boom, we got the victory, but we only got to round 60. We're going to free play a little bit further. I haven't had to drop one in a while. There we go. That seems like the right time to use it. Oh, man, look at how many Zeppelins are coming in now. This is, this is absurd. When you get into the 80s and 90s, like, wait till you see some of the airships that are coming. So what we want to do is upgrade the bottom path, never miss targeting. So he's got, what, heat-seeking? So I guess at that point, we want lots more darts. We'll keep him like that. All right, yeah, so, oh my god, he's he's firing heat-seeking bombs from the Spectre. Did you see that? Dude, I love the Spectre. It's round 78, and we're getting very, very close. Lots of little stuff. I feel like we're able to deal with big stuff, but if there's a lot of camo little things, that's where our issue is. Oh my god, look at that. Let's drop a bomb on it. That was scary. They were moving so freaking fast. Dude, we are so close. The Czar, look at him. He's got a four propellers out there. So this is the Czar Bomba and then the little one. Ooh, look at this guy. We've got our Zomji, Z-O-M-G. You know what, Zomji? We're dropping the pick boy on you. <laughs> well, that's what happens. And that's a lot of airships, right? Okay, some clays just ran through with some rainbows under them. Dealing with them relatively easy. Look at this conga line of zeppelins coming now. It's just wild. This is absolutely wild. The reds pop to the blues. The blues pop to all of that stuff. And let's drop our bomb and take them all out. <laughs> oh my god, it just never gets old. The Tsar Bomba is recharged. That looks dangerous. Let's drop a bomb on it. Sometimes it's hard to find my mouse cursor. I wish I could make it, like, glowing red. So here we have two Zom Gs coming out. The big bad daddies. So I've noticed that my bombs aren't able to do much against them, but I think what we could do is drop a big boy on it. Oh. And it stopped the Zom G. And hopefully this guy's ready for the next wave. So wave 87... Four ZOMGs. We gotta wait for them to pop for our really our our uh, our bombs to be super effective. You know what? I'll drop a big boy. That took out all of the reds. So if we had it again, we'd be able to take out these reds. But once they all turn to blue, I could drop a bomb and that would take out all of them. The absolute chaos. Whoo! We are ten thousand dollars closer, or far. <laughs> $10,000 away from getting it. Let's go ahead and drop one of our bombs, taking out all those blues. And now all we gotta do is deal with the Zom Gs. Should be easy enough. So here we go, our first Sky Shredder. Where is he? There he is, he looks like the freaking X-Men plane. Yeah, that, that's, that's a bit obscene. He's firing like two darts. And I don't think we can upgrade him anymore. Once again, lost my mouse cursor. Wait, those guys were looking like they were getting pretty far. Yeah, I'm gonna drop one. 
They got pretty far near the end there. Okay, so we got $5,000. Okay, so this is it. Wave 90. Where are those little DDTs? I don't see them. Maybe we're popping them? Oh, there they are. Okay, so these guys are super fast, right? Drop the bomb. Take them out. Okay, so see, we're able to stop DDTs using our ground zero bombs. So the next time we get DDTs is round 93. These things are quite quick. Lead camo regrowths, I believe. Are there, no, fortified ceramics? Looks like fortified ceramics. All right, I'm dropping a bomb because it was just too busy. Had to deal with it. Didn't like it. All right. Uh, are you nervous? I'm a bit nervous. Those zombies are getting pretty far. We'll take out the blues. Take out the zombies to the reds. And... I'm thinking... No, I don't even think... I might not need to use the bomb. I gotta use it. I think I had to use it. I don't know. I don't... Did I even have to use it? Oh, see, I don't think... I don't think... The monkeys. Hold on, hold on. Dropping it. Boom! The mother of all bombs. Those DDTs were getting... They're just so fast. So we've got the Zarbama and the Sky Shredder. The only one we don't have is Flying Fortress. We don't have any Flying Fortresses flying around being fortresses. Okay, so this is round 95. Not much is getting through right here. 95, there's 500 purple camo regrowths. Here we go, there they are. So we gotta wait for as many as possible to get on the board. And get close. Okay, I gotta drop it. And then we've got more. But this is what the big bombs are for. Dealing with these nasty little flying blimp sharks. Okay, so that was... I, that's gotta be a bunch of them. Okay, this is the last three or four of the DDTs. Can we deal with them without dropping a bomb? I don't think so. I'm gonna do it anyway. Wow. Wave 95. Wave 96. We've got 40 fortified Moabs, 30 BFBs, and 6 Zom Gs. Use one of our bombs, which we're kind of low on, actually. Wave 96 out of 100. It's incredible. Who is the manufacturer of these balloons? Dropping the big boy. Just taking him out. And look at that. That means we're gonna get some ground zero upgrades. Dropping one. Take out the chaff. Now once those reds turn to blues, I can drop a bomb and end their existence. And we got our czar bomb ready to go for the next one. Boom, baby! All right, so. I think it'd be good to have, get another one as early as possible. Okay, wave 98, almost there. 30 fortified BFBs, 8 ZOMGs. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. This is, this is kind of crazy. I can't even see the map. Fine. I should have used the big one, but I didn't. Ha! All right, we saved the big one, and I can afford another ground zero one. Wave 99. 90 Moabs and 9 fortified DDTs. There they all are. And drop. <laughs> oh god, we don't really have any bombs ready for wave 100, which we did make. This is the big airship of doom. It's big, slow, and incredibly hard to take down. Okay, so if you guys want to see, we're gonna do this in a minute, but over on Baron Von Tactics, we're uploading more balloons. So if you guys want more balloons and you're still watching, go subscribe there. And now, this is my first experience fighting the bad, the big airship of doom. So let's see him. Wave 100, one BAD. I don't know what pops out of it. I just know he's the big purple baddie of doom. Doom. Now, how many bombs do I want to drop? Once he pops, he drives so slow, he flies so slow rather, that we should be able to get our big boy out. I. This is kind of incredible. Let's drop a bomb to soften him up. It didn't do anything. He's got so much... There we go. Okay. Oh, DDTs? Who invited those? Yeah, Zomji's popped out and a few DDTs. He is a bad Mamma Jamma. And let's go ahead and drop a little boy to soften him up. And Insta Monkey, the engineer. A 004, so that's, that gives him the trap. 
We did it! We made it past wave 100. This is quite an accomplishment. I am very, very proud of us. Whoo! Alright, let's see how far we can go. And I'm just gonna keep it on super fast. Because you know what? Who knows? I wonder how... I was about to say, I wonder how much farther we can make it if I don't use my abilities. Well, there you have it. I had to be very micro-intensive using those bombs, but that just goes to show you the viability of this tactic if you're observing the adversity on the battlefield and using those bombs wisely, as Peppy Hare would have advised us way back on Star Fox 64. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Bloons. Let me know a challenge. Put it in the comments below. If you see one you like, upload it so that it's going to be the challenge of the next video. Let me know if you guys want to see more, and I'll see you guys there. Bye!